Hello folks, Scott Grove here. Had a request to do um, kind of a blind acoustic guitar test this time around. Uh, we just did the one with the, uh, I don't know, three humbucker guitars. So now we'll do the acoustic ones by request. And I've chosen, out of a bunch of them, I've chosen three. And they're all different price ranges. And um, every one of them have Elixir polyweb strings on them and the strings have all been on these three, three guitars for about at least two years now okay so they're they've been on there for a while so I'm going to strictly play um, just a G and a C chord and then a I don't know a F suspended sus4 and I uh, know sus2 yeah it's just two. Ah, yeah, we'll just, I'll play the same three chords <laughs> using a typical um, Dunlop 73 gauge pick. And these are all acoustic electric guitars, but I'm playing them strictly acoustically just to see um, what you think sounds better than another that you might want to go try somewhere or look for online or whatever. Or for whatever reason, it makes no difference. It's not a contest to see which one's the best. It's just... Um, Something for fun, something to post, and something to bet on for a couple days. It is currently, um, what is this, barely in the morning, I guess, here on the 25th of June 2012. So actually being um, Tuesday morning. So about, I don't know, Thursday night, Friday morning, somewhere around there, midnight, I'll actually post up which ones for which. Okay, so the three guitars that I will do in no particular order, you won't get to find out the answers today until, you know, Thursday night, Friday morning, um, and no order at all, are all over the place price range, you know, price-wise. So, uh, one of them will be, um, let's see, this one, just an old 70s ovation, okay, so everybody might have one of these around, what are these called? The 1612, great big old round back thing. So this is the Deep Bowl 1612 from back in the 70s. Okay, let's put this one way down here and let's pick up something else. Okay, something in the affordable range, also here, very affordable, will be just this Ibanez. Okay, you guys have seen these everywhere, the exotic wood um, EW20. Okay, this one in uh, the spalted ash, you know, the figured ash everywhere. <laughs> okay, so it's that and it's full depth, as are all of these. And I'm not going to get out the real wild ones or anything. Okay, let's put this one way down here. And the third one will be a bit pricier. Not extravagant, but um, of course, we've got to toss a Martin into the mix which will be this one, which is the DC-16 GTE model, okay? So, there we go, that's the three that's going to be in here. Let me go put this sucker way down, and that's the three that I'll use. And like I said, no particular order, and that's why I have the camera so high so you can't see the guitars. Okay, so simply, I'll play um, a couple three chords with the pick, and then I'll play the same uh, little finger picking thing on each one of them too, so you can hear it. And I will be playing them all directly over top of the very middle of the sound hole using the pick, and directly in the middle of the sound hole um, when I'm finger picking. So therefore, I'm not playing one further back to try to compensate for anything, to try to rig anything to the one I like best, because it doesn't matter. Um, I like all these guitars for different things, so um, we'll just let the proceedings begin, okay? So I am not shutting this off. I will cut it off before I show which guitars are in what order, um, just because you can't find out for a few days. So I'm just going to leave this running and try to hide the guitar from you. Okay, so I'm going to reach down, grab a guitar, and I've got one, and try to keep it off camera. Okay, so I've got what will be known as guitar 
number one. So just put down below which guitar uh, you think they are or just which number of guitar that you like the best to the worst or whatever. You know, check it out. Just see how it falls across the whole thing, you know. So it's just the mic on an old Sony Handycam um, with the uh, digital audio tape still in them. So it's not even a the not even a high def um, digital thing is like I said it's got the tape in it so here's guitar number one with the chords finger picking okay so there's the sound of guitar number one I will ditch this thing way down here and we'll pick up another guitar and Back with guitar number two, playing the same stuff on guitar number two, right here. to the finger picking. Okay, so there's guitar number two for you. And grab acoustic electric guitar number three. And Bring it up here. Okay. Time to grab the pick. Same thing. And the picking right now. picking same thing okay so there you go I will put this thing down so I can talk at you and that those are the three so and whatever order and I'm actually going to keep this running and show you um, in a couple days which ones were which okay so um, and I will repost this entire video um, like I said Thursday night Friday morning something like that okay so um, I'll catch you then write down which ones you think are which or which ones you liked best in which order or to the least or whatever you want to write you know say they all sucked or whatever I don't care you know it's just sitting here playing and having fun. So, um, until then, catch you later, and uh, just do what you will with it, okay? Bye. <laughs> Uh, we're back. Uh, I never left, as you can tell. 
Okay, so anyway, guitar number one was the Ibanez. Okay. So the Ibanez Exotic Wood Ash EW20 dash BR549, whatever. Guitar number two was simply the Martin. And that leaves guitar number three. Oddly enough, the uh, old worn out ovation here. Okay, so that's what they were. So thanks for asking to hear a couple few acoustics and uh, just be happy that I didn't break out this puppy on you. <laughs>